इसके उपरांत मैं आज के सत्र के अध्यक्ष प्रेसिडेंट ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर के पी स्वामीनाथन सर से अनुरोध करता हूँ कि प्लीज डिलीवर इस प्रेसिडेंशियल स्पीच इसके उपरांत मैं आज के सत्र के अध्यक्ष प्रेसिडेंट ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर के पी स्वामीनाथन सर से अनुरोध करता हूँ कि प्लीज डिलीवर इस प्रेसिडेंशियल स्पीच इसके उपरांत प्रेसिडेंशियल स्पीच के बाद आज के ऊपर सेशन में जो रिजोल्यूशन पास किया जाएगा लेबर यूनियन के द्वारा थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सस्पेक्टेड सर आई एम स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश आई थिंक माई स्पीक विल बी ट्रांसलेटेड टू तमिल कन्नड़ा मलयालम हिंदी तेलुगु लैंग्वेजेस एंड विल बी शेयर इन दी व्हाट्सएप अवर आई एल ई ग्रुप में भेज रहा हूँ मैं बिकॉज आई गट अ प्लेटी ऑफ बुकलेट बनाकर आ गया स्पीक करने के लिए अभी इसका टाइम कम है बहुत इसलिए मैं शार्ट वेरी शार्ट में फिनिश कर रहा हूँ जय भीम रेस्पेक्टेड नेशनल पर्सन एंड ऑल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंट लेवल इंडियन We all have a discuss and take a good decision on the topic of responsibility and the contribution of activities to spread the Ambedkar Labour Movement and the representation of independent labour union in international and Indian labour organisation. First of all, we all should all actively accept the Baba Sahib Dr. Ambedkar's principle and his teachings to that. People of country, especially to the Dalit people. Baba Sahib Dr. Ambedkar said, "First, give education to Dalit people. Educating is not just about the educating, but also about the suffering of Dalit at the at the end ends of the dominant caste, that is Brahmanism, over the years. They were kept as slaves without education. That's why Baba Sahib Ambedkar." Said, teach our people about these things. We said, educate and organize. We all need to unite for our demands and discrimination. Twenty-four labor labor leaders put a demand to our national president Patel Sahab. He has already given the prolonged speech yesterday, given to all all of you and our. Vice President Honorable Zorale Sir, it is. I think it is enough for you. This is the main basis of our activities at the Independent Labour Union. It is the duty of all of us to remember the dream of Baba Sir Dr. Ambedkar. We all need self-respect and self-reflect. Responsibility for the upliftment of SC, ST, BC, and minorities. The platform for the For this, has been given by our proud leader, National Congressman Patel Sir, to all of us. Unity inspires and motivates. We are also inspired by the hard work of the administrator of IIM, which gives gives us the input to achieve success. With the motivation and inspiration, you all can successfully accomplish your goals. The growth of the independent labor union is in our unity. The unity of all of us gives us courage, hopes, and strength. Whenever we see injustice in our society, we feel the need to raise our voice. But often we take a step back because we struggle alone. The independent labor union is a great bulwark to fight for social justice. We all need to work. Together for the development of independent labor union, building unity is critical to growth of our of our union. We must work tirelessly to build our independent labor union on a national level. Find out our trade union leaders repeatedly 
really I am requesting all trade union leaders on the principle of Baba Sahib Ambedkar and tell them about the independent labor union and invite them to work with the independent labor union. Repeatedly, repeatedly you meet the union leaders and that union had find out what their demands are to cooperate to them, get them relief. If it is welfare society, then help them to convert the welfare society into the trade union. Then the registered trade union should be affiliated with the independent labor union. If this is done, the independent labor union will meet the target of our worker members and become one of the central trade union organization of India and become member of international labor organization. Our unity brings success. Unity is power and strength. Unity gives us a courage to fight injustice and evil in society. Unity is, a, is always beneficial. This press emphasizes the importance of cooperation. Unity and teamwork in achieving a common goal. Unity is essential for social, economic and political stability. In order to strengthen the independent labor union, all state leaders should strive for the development. We should work together and contribute greatly to the development of independent labor union. We should establish our union in all sectors. We need to expand our union in organized and unorganized sectors. To implement these, we need financial stability of independent labor union. Obedience of Obedience to the command of leadership, elimination of political influences and tireless work. In addition to this, trade union affiliated to independent labor union, I request all affiliated, you must provide assistance to services to your union members collectively bargaining for better wages and conditions for all workers. Improve the quality and trade union work. Your union is strengthened when you work Together, impartially with consensus, you can achieve more than otherwise. You should always be ready to fight to redress grievances of your members as and when arise. There are some measures that can strengthen the trade union movement, that is, maintaining unity, free from political influence, educate to workers, adequacy of funds, collective voice and bargaining power in the workplace, higher wages, better working conditions, job security, and the letters of grievances. Union leaders have to able by these guidance for strengthening of our independent level union. Trade union will have to educate to implement the Minimum Ages Act 1948, Employees Broad Fund Act 1952, Employees State Insurance Act 1948, and Old Pension Scheme. For better working and living conditions, safety measures, welfare benefits, social security measures, improved wages, participation and management, collective bargaining agreements, protection to trade union officials, recognition of the personality of workers by the management. The trade union should strive to ensure healthy and good working conditions, protect workers, right to privilege from the administrative encroachments. State union leaders must be united. If you are united, we can resist the attack of the enemy and overcome workers' difficulties successfully. If we fight among ourselves, our enemies will defeat us easily. The enemy has, I am mentioning the enemies is capitalism, who exploit the level of the workers in India. We all union leaders must know that globalization, democratic, environmental and technological changes are changing the labor market today and will determine those of tomorrow. If you run a union without knowing your union density, the bargaining power of workers, the economic environment, government policies and the nature of labor market, it will affect union bargaining power. If an employee who is not a member of your union complains to you about the particular management decision, you should help to solve the issue if the deal is finished. This is the union leader to do that. Union leaders 
should know that a trade union of workers formed the form the purpose of advancing the members interest in respect of wages benefits and working conditions member of labor union with job protection under the collective bargaining agreement with the employer workers have to face important problems which is to protect workers from occupational disease this is the main subject many labor sector workplaces are home based establishment that person poorly controlled over work hazards and workers must be protected them there are chemical risks that are particularly exacerbated by the welfare and health and the poor organization and the poor social environment and social infrastructures occupational safety and health generally refer to the protection of the health and the well being of workers anything which causes risk or hazard to an employee physically or mentally is an occupational health issue for example sanitation sector has to the largest number of employees in india manual disposal of human waste continues in india india has yet to take any action to resolve the issue but india sends space cup to expose this yes it to take step to invent basic machinery for the health sector the san sanitation sector is still operating in a old fashioned way although some minor changes have been made in this field the really is that they are not enough to be implemented sanitary workers are citizen of the country their lives are precious and they are exposed to occupational disease and die at a young age as they engage in the sanitation and the hygienic profession in an unsafe manner there is a ministry exists yeah named ministry of occupational safety and health but it is in inactive and it is in coma the health care sector is respect Uh, respected like any other sector around the world in foreign countries people from all walks of the file are involved in the cleaning industry sanitary industry due to the safety pay and respect of sanitary and cleaning industry but in india it remains a caste profession sanitary work is in caste profession they do a form of untouchability is created This reason for not modernizing the health sector in India is the political attitude and the caste discrimination. The government that now that does not modernize the sanitary sector, which is correct, the occupation disease is contributing to the caste-based atrocities. I am mentioning here only one sector for non-implementation of occupation sector. and safety of the worker there are so many sectors in india for non implementing the occupation diseases the trade union leaders should conduct awareness campaign and program and meetings to protect workers from the occupation diseases finally reservation india before concluding my speech i wish to mention one or two mahatma phule periya baba sahib ambedkar dated us basic understanding of reservation to the depressed oppressed people are not known by the present government reservation is a project of representation for all communities and not a poverty elimination project reservation is a social service project and not a plan for economic development it is more appreciate appropriate to all reservation as representation than reservation reservation are being given on the basis of which social inequality are created and maintained economic status can be changed but caste cannot be changed for example a tea maker become a prime minister of india but caste cannot be changed poor can be poor become a rich and rich can be poor but now caste cannot never become high caste or high caste never become low caste so making economic economy and criteria for reservation is against social injustice economy can be benchmark to only in the society without caste and untouchability sc st obc minority people in india have been denied denied education rights 
rise to life, property rights and thousands of years and have been subject to atrocity by the dominant Brahmin caste at the lower social level. The law provides regulation of rights and opportunities to the affected classes according to their victims and population. But despite reservation, representation, many states in India are still struggling to get reservation representation for CST OBC. We all know that even though the Constitution of India has reservation for CST OBC in all sectors, Today, they are not represented in the higher post. 97 percent of the people have not got the reservation for higher post till date. But those high positions are occupied by three dominant Brahmins. The Indian government is working against the con constitution and the favor of the Brahmins. SCST, BC minority should occupy higher position if caste discrimination is to be eradicated in India. For that, our people should be should have proper education knowledge. Yesterday, our professor Patria told me, English literature said, how much essential we want. For that, we should formulate action to plan and conduct training courses and create awareness among our educated youth. It was the dream of Baba Sahib Abhita. Dominant caste will not give us to, give us way to us if it comes to preservation, they want our people to be a, to be their slaves. That's the that's why Baba Shri Ambedkar, Kiriya, Mahatma Phule, Baba Vasavappa, Narayana Guru, and others incarnation to save our people from these dominant peoples. Independent Workers Union is the national body federation of the CSD minority communities. We must all support the national leaders who lead our federation forward. The independent labor union is very soon in process of seeking recognition from the central trade union organization and will be admitted to members in the international labor organization. Independent labor union will function as the 13th central union in India very soon. For that, I will conclude my speech by saying that we will all work together to Built an independent level union national level. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. K.P. Samarapha sir, you are sure as the independent level union become 30 recognized trade union national federation. Thank you, sir. Shortly, it definitely, if we work together, Uske baad, may manya. Gandhi sir, Gandhi sir, Vice President, Sotapur Nagar Union. Resolution, heading of resolution, Tata Representative Council. Me, only for you. Me, I'm the Gandhi sir. I'm going to talk to you. You know, Gandhi sir, at this much per okay. Now, उसके पहले स्वतंत्र संघा शिक्षक संघ के द्वारा जो कैलेंडर प्रकाशित किया गया है उसका लोकार्पण ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर स्वामीनाथन सर के हाथों होगा तो मैं सभी से विचार करूंगा कि इस कैलेंडर का सभी लोकार्पण करें प्रकाशन करें सर 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 अरे बीच में मत आओ